Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at should I uninstall QuickTime. So we're going to take a look at Apple here, Apple QuickTime, and you can see they have uh, discontinued uh, support for uh, their product. As you can see here, they're not um, uh, giving you any support from it now, and they're asking you to uninstall it because obviously they're not uh, supporting it anymore. But what happens if you still need to use it? And there's a lot of people that still use uh, QuickTime for video editing and stuff like that in Adobe Premiere. And uh, I'm, I'm one of them. I, like, I still use uh, QuickTime as well. So there is a solution for you. Um, but you've got to watch out for these uh, browser plugins and whatnot. Now, there was a concern from Tread Micro uh, that they said that there was uh, an issue here, zero day. Uh, issue and you can see here you can read all this I will put the links in the description for you and uh, the issue was with QuickTime there was a bit of a leak here where you could uh, be vulnerable so as you can see here but these are all uh, to do with the actual QuickTime itself and I'll show you a way around it which will stop this exploit from affecting you so you can see this one here the first one here is the QuickTime player which is to do with a QuickTime player. So you can pretty much view a lot of MOV files with uh, VLC and tools of the like. There's loads of ways of getting around that. So you don't need the actual player anymore. And uh, I think there is a way to get around this. You can see the, both of these vulnerabilities are to do with browser plugins and also the player. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a way to get around this without having to uh, uninstall it completely now yes you will need to uninstall initially but then you will reinstall again and I'll show you how to do that in a second so let me just quickly close this off I will put these links in here because you can read up on all this stuff yourself there's quite a lot of information about it on the internet and lots of people are saying uninstall it and don't use it anymore but you can still use it so let me just show you uh, a way to do this so what you want to do is go into your uninstall programs and when you come in here you want to uninstall anything to do with your QuickTime I'm going to uninstall this now you may find that if you're using Adobe Premiere and you're trying to use a QuickTime if you uninstall it it will cease to function correctly and you may run into issues so this is why um, you want to make sure that you uh, check before you start uninstalling stuff. But I'm going to uninstall the updater and also the actual QuickTime itself. Now if you go to QuickTime website you can download the latest version uh, which is advisable which is 7.7.9 .7 for Windows. Now this doesn't affect Mac so if you're on a Mac then you don't have to worry. But uh, this is just ceasing continue support for a Windows. So once you've downloaded the new version here, so what we're going to do here is reinstall QuickTime now, but we're going to reinstall this in a different way. It's going to say yes here. Now you don't want to click on the typical install, and the reason for this is because this will install all your recommended QuickTime features, including uh, all your plugins. A web browser uh, plugin and also your picture viewer and also the player now if you do that then you are going to be open to vulnerabilities and zero day okay and that's a real big issue so do not click on typical click on custom here and make sure that these have got red crosses on them so you've got your web plugin uh, your picture viewer and your Java is completely disabled and this QuickTime features are disabled okay they're not going to get installed the next one you want to disable is the QuickTime player you don't need the player all you're interested in is the codex to make your videos work correctly so you want to get rid of the QuickTime player here and just leave the QuickTime essentials and this allows you to uh, install uh, the QuickTime Essential Codex and it will work with all your Adobe Premiere and you still should be safe without having any vulnerabilities so we're just going to say install here so I'm just going to take out the update here uh, you can leave that in if you wish I'm going to take the uh, desktop as well out and then I'm going to install this that 
and once that's installed you should be pretty much okay to use it okay because the main uh, problems was with the actual player so you'll see we don't have any player or anything like that on the system all there is on here is the codex to use for your videos anyway so that's basically uh, how you can stay safe and still use QuickTime if you do need to use QuickTime you don't need to panic and uninstall it and never use it again uh, so I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or any problems with computers, you can always head over to the forums and post on there, and I'll do my best to help you over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.